Now, some residents of the old Bupe electoral area in the Savannah region have, view, have vowed to prevent voters in the area from taking part in the upcoming December polls and stage a series of protests against the government over lack of development. They claim the action has been necessitated by years of neglect by the government. The old Bupe residents have raised concerns such as inadequate health care, poor road networks, bad network connectivity and other development challenges which they claim have made life unbearable for them. Old Bupe electoral area, which includes communities such as Old Bupe, Lito, Bungbunto, Winamda, Buachipe and Bremape, is grappling with numerous developmental challenges that are severely affecting residents' living conditions. The only road leading to these areas is in a deplorable state with recent rains exacerbating the situation. The road is characterized by eroded potholes and muddy waters during the rainy season, making commuting difficult. During a visit by Channel 1 TV to the Old Bupe DA Primary School, the only school serving these communities, pupils were seen playing as their teachers were absent. Residents reported that teachers often refused postings to the area due to the poor road network, jeopardizing the children's education. Our children are really suffering. Uh, Sometimes we have to, from Bupe to Old Bupe, is our nine miles away. The school they are attending is not a boarding school. The students, uh, the teachers here, um, we either three or four, if I may say, the little do I know, three or four. And their coming is not constantly. Sometimes one will come, the other will not come. Today one will come, tomorrow one will come. So we are calling uh, the government to help us sort our things out, just as we are all human beings and we have to enjoy equal right. A trader, Malia Zakaria, expressed frustration about the difficulty in getting to the market in Bipe to sell her goods due to the poor condition of the road. The most old Bipe, Solmazo, the Nyala da Jirba, and Chenda, the Missolma Bajera, the Tinya Kamasa, you meet Tichena, Tibor Motoki, Nete Ozan Techanda, Tokunya. The to Solma Malabo, Kagomna to Songti, Katamal Kamal Solma Tati. Another resident, Yahaya Muntaka, highlighted the network challenges in the area. He mentioned that women in labor face significant difficulties accessing health care, which is about nine miles away, due to their inability to call for transportation. He appealed for help warning that if the government does not urgently address these issues, they will not vote on December 7. Looking at how the road nature is, is disturbing a, a pregnant woman, even with a normal human being, entering a motorcade from here to Bupe is a problem, not to talk of the pregnant woman. So we are pleading on anybody, anybody who will see us as human beings and citizens of Ghana to come here and help us to uh, at least we are not even looking for a first-class road. At least any something, anything that will be comfortable for motorcade person. At least we, we are we are okay with that. In a press statement read by Mahama Tanko, community members issued a two-week ultimatum to the government to act on their request or face mass protests, including staying away from voting in the polls. Most women in the area in terms of pregnancies don't attend antenatal checkup because of the distance and the stress involved. This has caused several birth complications in our women. In conclusion, we are covering to our leaders to consider solving this our outlying problems with immediate effect. Since after two weeks, if no resource is if no resource seems out first first step to, to is to embark of a demonstration. Stop, stop, 
in all political parties from campaigning in this area and above all nobody will come out to cast his vote on the day on the election day meanwhile in a telephone conversation with a member of parliament for the area john abdullahi jinapur he promised that in the coming days contractors will move to the area to improve the road conditions Residents of Old Bupe in the Savannah region are complaining and calling for developmental projects for their area. According to them, they've been cut out of development in the region and the country at large as they battle poor road network, bad internet connectivity, among several other challenges in this area. According to them, access to healthcare is a major challenge, especially when women are in labor at odd hours. They want government to do something urgently else. They hit the street in protest in two weeks. They have also vowed to prevent a resident from going to the polls in December to cast their ballot if nothing is done about their plight. For Channel One News, my name is Shawana Yusif.